Good evening, you two. Uh, I just wanted to show everybody how to install General Zero Hour on a Steam Deck on SteamOS. So, basically, what happened was I got it installed with some help from the Facebook community. Uh, and uh, some people were asking, hey, how did you do that? So, I wanted to show you guys how to get General's Zero Hour working on Steam Deck. So, All right, so what I'm showing here is just a proof of concept. Uh, I'm booting the game up in SteamOS. I've got the EA app launcher uh, to download and install and launch the game. So I, I don't know a way to get around having the launcher open before the game starts, but it's pretty seamless because it auto opens the game there. You can see I just have to click on it and then the game begins, and I can just hit escape on, and in this case I set escape to be the start button so that it makes sense to pause the game with the start button. Uh, I'm going to open up the square skirmish real quick so you can see that everything is working correctly. I've got the right aspect ratio, the resolution set to 1280 by 800, so uh, on the default Steam Deck native screen. It is pixel for pixel resolution. Uh, the frame rate is being limited to 30, so that's why you see the 30 frames in the top left corner. Uh, so, anyway, you can see it's working. Uh, let's get to how to get it installed. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is, uh, well, I need to log out of here. We're going to have to log into it again. Exit. There we go. First thing we need to do is go to desktop mode. Now, this is a lot easier with a mouse and keyboard if you have one available, but it certainly can be done without a mouse and keyboard if you don't have one. I, that's how I originally did it, is without a mouse and keyboard. All right, now that we're in the desktop environment, I'm going to go ahead and use that. So the first thing you want to do is go to the little Discover Software Center and get Firefox installed. So you're just going to search Firefox. It's, look, it's, it's already in the most popular, so just click on that, and then you get Firefox installed. So we're going to go to download the EA app. EA app. There it is. Okay, download the app. You're going to click on it? I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to click on it there. And that's everything you need to download. So, first thing you need to do is go to Steam. Go to Games. Add a non-Steam game to my library. And it's not going to show up here, so what you're going to do is go to Browse. Go to your downloads, and then you've got the EA app installer open. Okay, now that's in, it's checked. Just hit select, add selected programs. Now when you go to your library, the uh, EA app should be in here. Let's get down there. EA app installer, okay. You're gonna have to manage properties compatibility force it to run in proton experimental that'll get it running hit play now it's going to want to want you to log in all right so it's going to want to set this up we're going to let hit let's go i'm going to log into the ea app now you have to have purchased Generals on the EA app ahead of time in order to do this. But I have, so... I definitely recommend getting it officially, don't try and pirate it. 
So if you don't know how to bring the keyboard up uh, in desktop mode, it's going to be uh, hold down the Steam button, hit X. And that'll pop this keyboard up, and then you can use the trackpads to click on the buttons. I'm not going to do that here because it's annoying. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is uh, go to our library. Where is it? Uh, need my library. Come on, EA. There we go. Library. And find General Zero Hour. Just click on that. Alright, next. Download. So it'll show up in your download queue. All right, so it is ready. Uh, the little icon appeared here, but I didn't click on the record button fast enough. So it's actually ready to launch right now. Uh, so if I just uh, launch the game, it, it'll work just fine, uh, but you'll be locked to a low resolution. I'll show you how to fix that resolution in just a minute, but I just want to demonstrate the game is working, functioning. Yes, we want to give it permission to run. General Zero Hour. EA Games. Challenge everything. Terrorist base. All right, here's the menu. You see the resolution is locked to this box here. Uh, if I go to options and I try to increase the resolution, it doesn't let you. Because it doesn't recognize the aspect ratio of the Steam Deck because it's an older game. So, uh, what I'm going to do is going to go back I'm going to fix the resolution. Alright, first thing we need to do is exit this. So I'm going to exit. Make sure you hit exit and not the X because otherwise it'll shrink to your uh, taskbar and we don't want it there because it's just the launcher oh and that's another thing uh, if you want to have to go through the launcher every time and then click on the game you can leave the target as it is uh, oh actually you can't leave it okay so the next thing you want to do is go to your settings here and change the target so I'm going to go to properties and instead of Home, deck, downloads, EA, app install. I'm going to go to browse. This is a little tricky. You go to home. Dot local. Now, if you can't see, if you can't find dot local, you may have to show hidden files. You just click this checkbox right here to show hidden files. Go to share. Steam. Steam apps comp at data and you're going to look for the most recent uh, folder here. These are the uh, fictitious C drives that Proton creates uh, in order to run the games and you can see this one was created just a few minutes ago so that's the one we're looking for. Open that, open PFX, open drive C and you're going to look for I believe it's program files EA Games, Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, Generals. Hit open. Now, it forgets to put little quotation marks here, so you're going to have to put those in yourself. And just to make it search the right path, we're going to copy that and paste it down here. Okay. We can go ahead and rename it. Generals. I'll put a Z on it so that I know it's the one I need to de delete when I'm finished. Okay, so uh, now when I hit play, you see the EA app starts up, but it's already requesting to start the game. And you'll only have to click on that. You won't have to go find it in your library. Yeah, it all right, now we can go fix the resolution. 
terrorist. Alright, so to fix the resolution, what you're going to do is go to your folders, and uh, we're going to go to the same folder we went to before. So it's going to be home, it's going to be dot local, share, and then uh, Steam, Steam Maps, Combat Data, same folder, PFX, Drive C. Now, what we want to do is go to Users, Steam User, and then I believe it is Documents, yeah, Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, and there's an options dot in it. You want to open this up. And you want to find the resolution, okay? It's right here, item 14. And uh, you're going to change this to 1280 space 800. And you're going to save. That's it. That'll fix the resolution for you. You can close this out. And uh, if you want to add custom artwork, what you can do is go just download three pictures I'm going to download three pictures generals zero hour images so let's say we like the box for a nice vertical picture uh, save image as ddd okay Save. Uh, let's say we like this screenshot as a background. Save as. DDF. Alright, and then we need a, uh, a PNG. Generals PNG. I'm going to put local. Logo. Generals zero hour. So we need at least one PNG so that we can uh, here let's uh, let's use this one save image as ddde okay close that so this just right click on this background here set custom background and that's going to be uh, here so sometimes uh, the pictures you pull off the web aren't the same file type so you have to come over here and say all files so there's that one the web BP that I I select oh that's not a good format so we'll have to download a different picture or save it as something else so I'll just use this for now okay and then set custom logo and that's the DDDE so that's a actually a PNG file Okay, let's say I want that same picture right there as the uh, logo for it here. So I'm going to find Generals. Uh, and I go to Properties and set it in here. There we go. So there it's got that logo here, it's got that logo there. Now, there are two other places that you find box art. If you go to your library home, you can scroll down here and find the game in your library. They're in alphabetical order, so you just go down, or you can just search until you find the blank one. There it is, generals. Uh, manage, set custom artwork. So this one's going to be the vertical one I wanted, right? There we go. And then at the very bottom here, it, you, you'll see if I uh, hover over this, there's another, to the left, there's, a, there's another blank one right there. If we want to fix that, you come down to the bottom, and since it's the last thing we opened under recent games, right here, that's it. So we're going to go to manage, set custom artwork. Yeah, so now I can uh, set this to anything I want. So there's the one I used for my old one. So it's going to confuse me because I won't know which one's which, but that's okay. Uh, so we're ready to go to gaming mode and just play. Return to gaming mode. Alright, we're back in the desktop environment. 
So you can see the most recent game right there is the General's ZZ that I created. If I click on this, uh, I can hit uh, settings, manage, and I can, uh, oh, I want to add to, that's what I'm trying to do. Add to, I can add it to a specific uh, collection I have, in, in, in this case it's the Command and Conquer collection. You can create a new collection by just coming down to new collection over here. I already have it, so I'm going to add it to Command and Conquer. Now, when I go to my Steam Home library, under collections, I can go to Command and Conquer. Now there's 11 of them. Now there's two general zero hours in here, so I don't know which one's which. Um, I imagine the new one is this one on the bottom. Uh, yes, this is the new one. I'm going to hit play. Okay, so you're going to use... Uh, I'm going to try to use the trackpad here to click on OK, but it's not working because Steam doesn't know what the controls should be. So I'm going to use the Steam Home button, go to controller settings, and it thinks it should be a gamepad with joystick trackpad. We don't want that. We want keyboard and mouse. So go here in templates, just pick keyboard, WASD, and mouse, and hit X to apply the layout. Okay, so now I can use the trackpad and I can click with the trackpad. And now it's going to want to launch generals. General Zero Hour. If you want to play the original generals, yeah, I recommend updating the resolution for that one as well. You do it, it's the same exact process. You just go into the generals folder instead of the general zero hour folder. So I hit start there. Start is exit in this controller layout. So I, I'm really ready to play at this point. I, you can see the resolution is full. It's, I don't have black bars. Um, maybe the YouTube video has black bars, but it's the same black bars as the Steam Deck is normally. It's the correct aspect ratio. That's the point. So if I go to skirmish, I'll play a game. All right. China I click has on my units. Generous. I'm using the triggers. A very uh, good you can set up your general. own custom controls if you like uh, shortcuts like D here with your dozer. Uh, so. I don't know what keys default to D. Uh, one of the there you go. I I select. I use that with the left joystick. So you you know the up down left right uh, on the uh, uh, the D pad is by default moving panning the camera around, and I kind of like that. But I also like that on the joystick as well. So uh, maybe if you don't like that on there, you can still set the D pad to be. Uh, shortcut buttons, China you has know, been upgrade complete. but uh, everything works. It will look so, real nice when it's yeah. done. I hope this helped, and I hope you enjoy playing Generals.